we have never hatched out a snake that looks like this. That's a good looking snake. Should we look at the whole pile? I mean, look at that, look at that beautiful pile right there. I mean, you could, you could just say that they all have Orange Dream. Boy. Boy, 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 boy. Aloha, top and one of friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We're going to share today Clutch 2406 with you. What happened to 2405? I talked about that in the sharing of Clutch 2404. So got some bad news about the last Clutch that we shared in the runt. We'll talk about that in a moment. We're on the old set of the Whiskey Wimps. For those of you guys that used to watch that show that we put out, I miss doing that. But all of my studio gear right now is packed up for the first ever All-American Reptile and Plant Expo happening in Charlotte, North Carolina right now. Hopefully you used Cusco code, Cusco, <laughs> coupon code Cusco to get your tickets if you got them online for that show and all of the All-American Reptile and Plant Expos going forward. Hopefully we're seeing a bunch of you guys in North Carolina right now. But for you that are just watching here on the internet, we're going to share this clutch with you. It's a beautiful clutch. This is the father of the clutch or sire of the clutch. Destro, he's an orange dream spot nose clown. At least that's what we got him as. Technically, this guy's a rescue. And uh, yeah, orange dream spot nose clown. I have de decided and determined that I am absolutely terrible at identifying orange dream in any kind of ball python combos. And we'll, we'll see more of that as I share this clutch with you. But he's supposed to be an orange dream spot nose clown. Looks like a really, really nice spot nose clown to me. Again, me and Orange Dream are just incompatible or something. I don't know. I can't really, I can't see it. I just can't see it. I need help. Here we have the mother of the clutch. This is our second ever hold back that we produced here at Triple B. This is Cindy. She is an Enchi Firefly clown. And she's looking great. She has sired, sired. She has laid uh, several clutches over the years here, and we have multiple generations from her uh, here in our in our breeding colony. And yeah, Cindy, mother. So we have six animals in this clutch, and this first one here is a girl. She's flapping her little scent glands out at me all crazy like right now, and she looks a lot like Dad. So definitely spot nose clown possible orange dream. Uh, the one of the animals that is in shed today for this video. So, uh, but the rest of them are not. The rest of them actually have just freshly shed out. So this is the only one that's gonna be slightly in shed. The rest of them should be shining brightly in all their beautiful ball python glory. That's a good looking snake right there, man. I, I love orange dream. I, lo <laughs> I hate orange dream. <laughs> only because I can't see it. But I, I love uh, spot nose and clown together. It's just one of the best combos that the pattern just gets so busy. It's just such a cool looking combination. It's, it's one of my favorite. When I first saw it, it was one of my favorites and it's still to this day is one of my favorites. I just love the contrast, the busyness and the head stamp. I mean, there's nothing that I can say that I don't like about a spot nose clown. And all of these will be available on Morph Market at some point. Again, if you watched the last clutch sharing video, you know that I, I don't know when I'm going to list stuff up for sale. I'm kind of taking the slow road. I might wait till everything hits at least 200 grams, and then we'll start listing them there. I figure that'll be better for the purchasers. You know, much more established snake already eating, you know, small rats would be when they would get to about that size. So, you know, should be no issues when you get the snake. This thing has cool patterns in it. Gross. Uh, wipe that on the barrel. Snake number two here is a male, if you didn't see that. And he is definitely a firefly clown, possibly orange dream. I would say, even though I can't see it, that this is definitely orange dream, <laughs> which is utter nonsense coming out of my mouth, but it just looks like one of the nicest firefly clowns I've ever seen. And so I assume that means there's Orange Dream. These are all going to be Poss Orange Dream, with the exception of, like, none. They're all, all going to be listed as Poss Orange Dream, and you're just going to have to 
I mean, I know there's shed tests for Orange Dream. I just don't know if I should shell out the uh, the cash for doing shed tests to find out if Orange Dream or not, or if I should rely on other folks who can actually see Orange Dream to tell me that yes, there's Orange Dream in the snake, that snake, or no, there's not. I'm open to either idea. Snake number three here is a female, and I don't know what exactly is going on with her. She's obviously a little smaller than the rest of the animals in this clutch that you've seen so far. And she's having some eating issues. You know, she's eaten some meals, and then she's just a little bit weird about it, though. So uh, we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens there. And, and speaking of uh, meals and weirdness with ball pythons, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, unfortunately, the runt from our clown pie clutch did not make it. Um, after her last meal, which was just a small fuzzy mouse um, that was not pretty much about the size of her head. It was not a huge meal, but she just, she just didn't make it. Her, she couldn't handle the, the digestion of that meal. And I went in the next one, the other the morning after she ate or the day after the morning she ate. And she was just, she was gone. So it's unfortunate, but um, you know, it runs can have that issue sometimes. So unfortunately she didn't make it, which is a bummer. I was loving to have, be able to share a success story with her. Um, he was actually, actually a boy it turned out, but uh, unfortunately didn't make it. Um, hopefully that's not the case for this one right here. This one is not a runt, just like I said, having some eating issues. Um, looks to me to be a pastel, pastel spot nose clown. And no orange dream. I would say, my expert opinion on Orange Dream. This snake here. Well, that's a boy. You see those things flying out there? Those are hemipenes. Dos piñotes. And uh, I think that this might be one of the nicest fire clowns I've ever hashed out in my life. It's actually an Enchi fire clown, which is makes it the nicest. We've never actually hatched an Enchi fire clown here before, so it's kind of cool to see this guy pop out. And does he have Orange Dream? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you let me know in the comments? I'm going to say yes. Gosh, I wish it was something I could just see. I wish I could just look at me. Oh, yeah, Orange Dream. I've been trying for what seems like an re unreasonable amount of time to try to see uh, such a trait in a ball python. And I just can't do it. I just can't do it, bro. We have never hatched out a snake that looks like this at Triple B. We got nice odds on hitting clowns on this clutch because <laughs> both parents were visual clown, which meant that they were all bound and destined to be clown ball pythons. And she spot nose fire or his dream <laughs> good looking snake man super stoked just love the orange fire stuff that's coming up in the blushing inside of the pattern there just good looking just a good looking snake man um eating like an absolute beast did not mention if this was a male or a female and i don't remember uh that is a female man we we might just keep this girl dude this girl is, uh, we always keep one animal from the clutch of Cindy's lines because uh, the original mother of Cindy was Bernice, who unfortunately got egg bound years ago and did not make it. Um, you know, we didn't breed her, but then she tried to have an ovulation the year after she got egg bound and just, just passed. So that was unfortunate. But we always, so for that reason to keep Bernice's legacy alive, we always keep one of her grand snakes. It's a good looking snake right there, man. That is a good looking snake. I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. 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 Good contrast, good pattern, good night. Boy. Boy, 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 boy. This snake, this boy, snake number six, the last snake of the clutch, is what appears to be a copy of mom with orange dream added in. So Enchi, Firefly, orange dream. <laughs> and I, I only say that 
orange drink because like he just is a a bit better looking than mom was when she was at this size. And so I have to assume that's because of Orange Dream. But it's just an assumption, which I shouldn't be making, but I'm making it anyway. Because the theme of this video is that Brian has no idea how to identify Orange Dream and ball pythons. And we're just gonna go with that. And we're gonna hope for help in the comments from those of you that have that eye, that can see an Orange Dream ball python. Like, I can see it if it's just, just Orange Dream. Like, if you set an Orange Dream next to a normal, like, say, okay, there you go. But then when you start throwing in combos, it just disappears for me. Or I just think, you know, I start seeing things. I'm like, oh, it's a really good looking snake. Must have Orange Dream because it's supposed to be there in the pairing. It's tough. It's tough. Let's hold this snake a little more still for you to see it in all its beauty. There you go. There you go. That's a good looking snake. Should we look at the whole pile? I mean, look at that, look at that beautiful pile right there. I mean, you could, you could just say that they all have Orange Dream because it's so beautiful. They're so nice. They all have Orange Dream. Thank you guys for watching the video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Hope to see you at the Reptile Show in North Carolina this weekend. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys.